Hey everyone, I'm Molly Wood and welcome to the CNET Mailbag, the show where we take your feedback and answer your questions about all the stuff we do here at CNET. We're doing a lot, you have a lot of questions, but first I have some exciting news. High Definition Streaming is now live at CNETTV.com. And we've even got this handy button here, so if you think your machine can handle the HD, you can toggle it to on, but if you're not quite ready to go there, just keep it off. You'll continue to see the standard definition video and you don't have to worry about a thing, except maybe get a new computer because it looks good. All right, you have a lot of questions this week. Let's dive right in. The burning question of the week comes from Christopher and many others who asked, what happened to Planet CNET? Yeah, Planet CNET has been on a short hiatus while Karasu Boy basically trotted her little butt all over, well, not the planet, but the US covering the Democratic and the Republican presidential conventions. And then the TechCrunch 50 madness and the Apple announcements here in San Francisco. But we can assure you, Planet CNET will be returning in full glory this week. Speaking of Planet CNET, Gatlin wanted to know, is it ever going to be a podcast? I checked at podcast.cnet.com, but there is none. For all I know, CNET has every other show in podcast form. Is Planet CNET different? Love the show. Gatlin, I asked our podcast producer, Jason Howell, about this, and he said, ha, huh, no, but it should be. I wish we had someone to do that type of thing. Oh, wait, I'll add it to my list. It'll be done. Moving on, Richard is a little miffed with us. He writes, I love BOL as much as the next guy and know that since I lived without BOL video for about a year, I could live. But seriously, what the frack happened? This is so irritating. I've been waiting feverishly each and every Friday for a new video to appear in iTunes. And what do I get? Nothing. Come on, guys. If you're canceling it, at least tell us. Richard, Methinks you might not have been listening lately because we did finally get around to announcing on Buzz Out Loud that we're no longer producing the Big Friday video version, but we haven't been great about communicating that, so here's the deal. If you don't already know, we stream a video of Buzz Out Loud every day live at watchbol.com. Today is Monday, September 15th, 2008. I'm Molly Wood. I'm Don Reisinger. And I'm Jason Howell. Welcome to Buzz Out Loud, seeing this podcast of indeterminate length. It is episode 809. And it's our plan to get some good cameras in that studio and create a daily live stream that goes up on CNET TV and that you can maybe even download. So it didn't make a lot of sense to do a different video version on Fridays. Therefore, hold on to your hats. More BOL goodness is coming. Next, Dan writes, Download.com was always one of the first sites I tell people to check out when looking for free music online because it's legal. But I can't find the music section anymore. Is it gone or just hind? If it's not gone, could someone please put a link to it on the download.com homepage? Dan, some changes are happening. The music's still going to be there, but it's not going to be right there, but it's not where it's going to end up yet. I can't really say much more than that, but for right now, you can still find all that good free music. Just go directly to music.download.com, and I'll keep you posted. In fashion mail, Jen writes in, OMG, Molly, I love the top that you wore on September 9th's episode of Mailbag. Where did you get it? Or where did the wardrobe department get it? Probably. I'm a mom, too, and sometimes it's hard to find clothes that are not too revealing, but not totally matronly, and that top was super nice. Thank you, Jen. You know who else loved that shirt? Mark Lasea. He's so nice. Anyway, I got it at Banana Republic last season, and it's funny that you should ask, because this week it found its way into the dryer, bled all over itself, and now it's ruined. So feast your eyes, because it's the last you'll ever see of it. So tragic. And finally, a new segment on the mailbag, the Spell Checker Special. Someone wrote in with some crazy talk about Google Chrome, saying, you can't copy it from the URL bar that sucks so bad. I'm so mad at Google. They should know about copy it and F paste by now. God, you can even highlight it. I'm like, WTF, that sucks. Anyway, love the show. But why come you guys got rid of te what's on TV thing, you know, with the TV screens in the top right corner? That thing was te bomb. Brian Tong's faux hawk will one day rule the world. Sincerely, angry German monkey trainer. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Also... You totally can cut and paste from the Google Chrome URL bar. I don't know why that doesn't work for you. Maybe it's because of the rage or that it's a beta. Just give it another try and relax. Okay. Talk to you later, buddy. And that's it for this week, everyone. Keep that feedback coming. Mailbag at CNET.com or send me a postcard, 235 2nd Street, San Francisco, California, 94105. See you next time.